Hey, what's going on, guys? Hope you're doing fantastic today. My name is Tyson here with Repair My Funnel, and today we're going to be breaking down a tool or software called King Sumo. King Sumo is a giveaway software that is super easy to use, and its main premise is basically to create some sort of social buzz around whatever it is that you're trying to give away for your business. Now, as an example, here's one that is live. Right? If I click on one of these or click on that button, it takes us to a live giveaway, so you can see exactly what I mean. Um, basically, it gives you a little rundown or allows you to give a rundown of what you're giving away, um, all the details of that specific item. You have some banners up here at the top for the specific item that you're giving away. Uh, and then all they have to do is enter in their name and their email address or click enter with Google and they're in. That's it. Now, for example, if I enter this giveaway, we should see some options on the other side uh, all around basically sharing this giveaway to earn extra points or entries. This is what I was talking about. You have the additional options here, such as sharing on Twitter, sharing on basically any social platform there. Um, you have custom actions such as, you know, follow or subscribe, subscribe to a YouTube channel, um, go to a specific page, maybe sign up for a newsletter, whatever it is you want them to do, and they can earn additional entries by doing that right there. As you complete actions that are listed here at the top, such as sharing on Twitter or liking on Facebook, you'll see that the number of entries goes up uh, at the very bottom of the screen here. Now, as an example, let's go ahead and like them on Facebook, and we should see that as we do so, as we go back, there we go. Uh, we now have five entries, right? And that's the entire premise of this software. Super simple to use. As you do more activities, your name gets entered more and more times, and that person has a likely or a higher likelihood of actually winning whatever prize or thing that you're giving away. All right. Uh, now let's go and dive into the actual dashboard or what this sites or software looks like on the back end. The first thing that you'll see when you log into King Sumo is going to be your dashboard, which is what we're looking at right now. And it's going to be the main area where you manage your giveaways, you create new ones, you award winners, um, you have a promotion tab here, you can go in and edit, you can duplicate, you can view everything around giveaways is going to be created or, or managed on this page right here. This is dashboard. All right. Aside from dashboard, you have account settings, supports, and you can log out. <laughs> that is it. It is very, very basic as far as navigation here. There's not a lot going on. All right. The main functionality is all going to be on dashboard again. All right. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and create a brand new giveaway, shall we? We'll go ahead and click on create new giveaway over here on the right side of the screen. It's a little green button there that says new giveaway. Once we land on the giveaway page or the giveaway creation page here, you'll notice that everything is broken down into sections. Right? Section number one is gonna be all about the giveaway information. So like the title, the description, when it's gonna start, when it's gonna end, when you're gonna award stuff, all the good stuff. Um, but below that, you'll see steps two through six, right? Yeah, steps two through six. Uh, step number two is essentially the area where you can manage where this can be shared. Uh, if you want it to be shared on all social platforms that are listed here, just click on them directly and it will allow them, all right? And then when you're actually in the giveaway page or when someone's looking at the other side, they'll be able to share on any of those guys right there. After you've selected all the platforms you want to share on, you have the option to set up bonus entries. Now, bonus entries was everything from follow us on Instagram all the way to phone number here. These are all custom links and uh, destinations that you want people to either view, sign up on, whatever. You're creating it all within the bonus entries area. Click on that drop down and you'll see a couple different options such as Facebook like, uh, that's what we actually did together. Subscribe to us on YouTube, uh, click a link, watch a video, whatever. Uh, it's all gonna be within this drop down right here. Once we have all of our bonus entries set up and configured, uh, you can go down to number four, which is integrations. This is gonna be your third party setups like Zapier, MailChimp, uh, ConvertKit, all those good things that you want to also in incorporate in this experience just to make it easier on your end when it comes to the marketing side of things. Um, click on add integration. And it'll actually take you to the correct area within your account here uh, where you can set up your integrations. All right, you can just click on connect, uh, add any API keys and then update. Once you update though, it should show over here under integrations uh, for you to go in and manage everything, connect whatever you want and all that fun stuff. All right, uh, beneath that you have rules and terms. If you wanna use the default ones, just leave that checked or you can go and create your own and it'll show a nice little text area where you can go and create your own rules of engagement here for your giveaway. And for step number six, you can turn on or off the invisible recap show. All right, basically if you wanna try to reduce the amount of spam that you get uh, for this giveaway, just turn this on and it will help out with that. 
All right. And then the last thing, this isn't technically a step, but you have the EU GDPR consent checkbox here. Um, it's actually what we saw on the first example or only example we did, this guy right here, which basically just is you confirming that you're okay with receiving emails. All right. Um, with that on or off, totally up to you, but just be aware that that is there. And that is basically it with the setup process here. But before we go and save and leave this page, let's go back up to the top here and cover the giveaway information section a little bit more in depth. I know I, I kind of just scrolled past that as I was covering the different sections here. So I want to make sure it's covered. Now, the first thing here is going to be the title. Go back to the example. It'll be this guy right here. Just so you know where that's going to actually show up. Uh, the description. This guy right here is going to appear right beneath the actual input field that we're seeing in the center of the screen there. Uh, and it's going to be this right here. All right. Um, beneath that, we have the starts at and, uh, and is awarded at. And that will be displayed right here at the top. Um, so, well, basically not the hard date. It'll show the countdown timer until it hits zero. Uh, and then the amount of winners will show right here, which is uh, adjusted at this point right here in the page. Uh, the time zone, right? This will be very specific to you, right? Obviously make sure that it is correct for wherever you are in the world. Uh, otherwise you might be a little sad when it ends a little early than expected uh, or late, who knows, whatever. Just make sure it is set up properly based off of your specific area. Beneath that, go and select who's actually gonna be running and facilitating this giveaway. Uh, just put the name of the business or the person right here and then their website. Beneath that, you can set up the prize name and the value. Uh, the prize value itself will display up here at the top right here next to the countdown. After that, you can set up your prize images, which is gonna be the uh, carousel right here at the very top that people can click through or they can drag through um, or they can just let it play out on its own. Uh, but either way, just put your images right here and uh, just make sure as you're doing this to also keep this in mind that you wanna have a minimum of 680 pixels for the width on every single image. And then lastly, you can specify what information you want to collect from each contestant as they enter, whether that's just an email or an email name and a phone number. Totally up to you, all right? We're gonna go ahead and just fill this in real quick so we can move on. Now, once you're good to go and you've filled in everything that has a red asterisk next to it, you can scroll to the bottom and click on save. After you do so, it should bring us to this page right here where we can either go back to the uh, editor for that giveaway, we can manage all giveaways, or we can just go back to our giveaway page, which is our dashboard. From this screen, if you ever wanna go and adjust anything around your giveaway, such as like adjusting the title, adjusting the description, whatever it is, uh, click on the title of that giveaway and it should take you into the settings. Aside from that, everything else is gonna be under the actions tab on the right side of the screen. All right, so like promote, uh, which will be that last page we saw after we created the giveaway. Um, you also have the option to view the page itself, uh, edits from there, you can duplicate and you can delete. Now, the last thing that we have to cover here is gonna be the account tab. Click over here on the right side of the screen and it'll bring you to this page right here where you can change the account name, the email, uh, your currency, you can view your secret API key there, you can delete your account uh, or you can add other things such as your tracking Right, so we have tracking for your Facebook pixel, your branding, if you wanna upload your own logo there, um, any custom integrations such as SemFox, Zapier, all that stuff is all gonna be right here. All right, or you have API directly. And that's basically it when it comes to King Sumo. Hopefully this walkthrough was helpful. If you have any questions around anything that we cover here today, make sure to let me know down below and I'll be happy to point you in the right direction wherever I can. All right, with that said, thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.